So we're now standing in a section of Art After Stonewall called Things Are Queer. Um, the, the term queer is important for this section um, in a way because it marks a generational shift. Um, beginning in the late 1970s and into the early 80s, the younger generation of gay and lesbians, um, especially in and around New York City, downtown areas like Village, East Village especially, um, began to uh, take up the word queer in opposition to gay or lesbian. Um, queer meant a more polymorphous, unfixed um, sense of personal and sexual identity. Um, it meant that one didn't identify necessarily as um, uh, gay or lesbian, but again, it uh, indicated a kind of sense of fluidity. Um, I think it also uh, was meant to suggest uh, a broader horizon of liberation than the kind of um, very hardcore politics um, of the immediate uh, moment of Stonewall. So um, I, I think that sense of a, a broad horizon is summed up really well by the work I'm standing next to. This is um, Taurus, Pearl Houses, uh, by uh, the sculptor Arch Connolly. Um, this dates to the, the middle of the 1980s. Um, it is a bejeweled house. The house itself is very simple. It, it looks like it could have been made, you know, by a school child putting together, uh, you know, a gingerbread house. Um, but Connolly has decked it out with his signature materials, um, uh, you know, these gauze, gaudy um, uh, pearls, fake pearls, of course, um, and costume jewelry. Um, the effect is transformative, of course. The house um, becomes fabulous. Um, but the, uh, the point of the work, I think, is also to suggest that under the buttoned-up surface of um, everyday suburban American life, and implicitly um, of everyday straight life, um, there is this world of uncertainty and world of fantasy. Um, that sense of a, you know, a, um, uh, an interest in the entire world of social relations, um, encompassing everyone um, as queer, um, was part of what this um, generation's new sort of sense of enthusiasm was, was all about. Queerness was all pervasive. Um, it could um, implicate um, anyone and everyone. And I think this work, uh, which is perhaps the most queer thing in the show, which is so um, patently handmade, um, I think this work really sums that argument up um, in a, a magical way. <laughs>